Hi all, welcome back to my channel. So in the last video, we have discussed about the width column transformation. And in this video, we will be discussing about width column with uh, the window function. So we have seen a lot of use cases uh, on the width column transformation and we will see one of the important use case uh, with the window function. And we will also see some of the use cases and then we will move to our uh, community database edition where we will be doing hands on this. Okay, so let's start. So first of all, let's go through the Windows function syntax. So first of all, like what is a window function used for? It is used for performing calculation across a specified range of rows related to the current row within a data frame. Okay. Then required libraries that we need to import uh, that is window and all the uh, function. Like the function can be ring, rank, dense rank, row number, max, all the aggregating functions and also lead, lag and tile function etc which are like generally used with the sql window function also okay the syntax would be we have to first define the window specification uh, which will be used uh, by creating this window object window dot partition by then partition column we need to define it can be more than one or more than one column then order by similarly more than one column rows between start and end the start and end can be like unbounded precedings unbounded followings current row and you no know, uh, any numerals we can give here uh, we'll be looking at one of the examples and also in the upcoming videos uh, when I will be creating a series on interview uh, hands-on questions that I will be discussing this uh, okay, in more detail. Next is uh, how to apply this window function. We have to use this df.wit column syntax uh, as discussed in the earlier video. I will put the link of uh, that video in this uh, description. Then we need to apply the window function over this window specification that we have um, created earlier window function i have mentioned rank uh, row number dense rank lead lag max min sum average all things can be this okay some let us discuss some of the use cases first use case here is ranking of the employees within the uh, department based on their salary do you have that with column rank cap dot rank over window specification dot so the show is uh, it's for displaying the data Comparison of rows we can do like salary difference we can do salary difference f dot call salary minus f dot lag lag means it will be uh, like, um, like how I can say lag means uh, one minus uh, the pre uh, the after salary okay it will be doing the comparison of the salary between the employees right to the previous employees and identify the top end records uh f dot rank and that filter we can apply rank is less than equal to and then we can drop the column so like that it will generate a new df the running totals we can be uh, use moving averages we can use uh, we can do de deduplication of the data and there can be uh, more use cases right so and also let us discuss some one example here uh, from pyspark.sql dot import window now we are creating a window specification partition on the department and order by salary lag salary f dot lag salary over window specification so this can be one of the example like how can we can you know uh, create this uh, so that's the tutorial part of it and now let's move to our databricks notebook to do the hands-on so this is our uh, databricks notebook and this is our uh, sample data and columns so we are importing the necessary libraries and functions from pyspark.sql import window and from same we are importing functions as f this is our sample data with eight rows and the columns are id department name and salary then we are creating a data frame out of it spark.create data frame data and column and also we are creating one uh, window specification window dot partition by department order by salary let us execute this piece of code is of course executed but no jobs have been created why because uh, no action command have been called yet okay so first example that will take like we are ranking on the base of salary on each department we are partition by department so let us see the output see it is in the partition on the basis of uh, department and order by on the basis of salary okay finance eva salary is 9000 rank is one 
then finance grace 9200 and so an increasing order of salary has done okay Ascending. so then john ellis which are like all the rank had also been given so this is expected result so let's move on to the second example like calculating the running total of salaries within each department Running total means you will get like how many in which department uh, how much amount of money we are spending right how much uh, salary we are giving to the employees that we can see right uh, another uh, example can be like calculate total salary of each department which we are given so like that we can do total salary sum of salary right over window specification 9,827,700 we are giving in finance then in 11,000 we are giving to HR and 2,500 we are giving to IT department next let us see the highest salary in each department see uh, the row between example it can be window dot unbounded preceding and window dot unbounded following so what does this means this means like we have to see uh, we have to consider all the rows above this and all the rows uh, below this okay so every row it will consider so as expected uh, we are taking the max salary column max salary it has given uh, max over this so already what we were doing here uh, over window specification we have done this in this variable only and now we are filtering the column where f dot call is equal to max salary okay and we are also dropping the max salary okay so this will be the output salary is 9500 that is maximum in the finance department hr department 6000 and id department 8000 okay let us see another use case difference in salary compared to the previous employee within each department you will see see for first it is null because above eva no one was there then for grace above eva uh, grace was there so 200 was different 9200 minus 9000 9500 minus 9300 is there so like this we can uh, compare the salaries like how much uh, grace is earning more than eva how much frank is earning more than grace so like that we can do right then we have uh, another use case calculate difference in salary compared to previous so this is the same thing i think i've copied it twice okay let's end this again yeah okay this was uh, the salary difference or window specification and window specification of id salary dot column salary minus f dot lag salary okay so we are subtracting this lag column we can see here uh, see dot call minus f dot lag salary of window specification so similarly it is like 9500 minus 9500 9200 minus 9500 minus 300 okay because what you have done here we are doing order by id and what you are doing there order by salary that's why we are getting difference in the salary like how it is coming okay so different order by will result in different results okay so this is another uh, data and it this same same like uh, the data frame is very similar so directly let us go to the uh, use case only moving average is how we'll calculate moving average f dot average salary over window specification and row number like uh, how to deduplicate the data we can also use drop duplicates and uh, distinct and also every time we can we have multiple options but uh, here we want to deduplicate within each department on based on the salary okay so we can do this where row number is equal to one uh, only row number is equal to one we can pick right <clears throat> Suppose uh, in this data we don't have any duplicate, but we if we are having duplicates, right? Then we can uh, use this uh, function as over window specification dot filter row number is equal to one and drop row num. In that one data will be duplicated and uh, all the row number is equal to one will be getting. Okay, and this is like moving average 9500 and 9250, 9000 plus 9500 divided by two is 9250. Like this. Uh, moving averages of the salary can be calculated so these are all the use cases that we have discussed and in the upcoming video i will be discussing on the interview question based on this window function and i will be making uh, at least three to five uh, videos on that and we will discussing uh, discuss on multiple questions and multiple like, scenarios which an interviewer can ask
so that's all for this video i hope you liked it and please do subscribe to my channel and uh, share with your network and that will motivate me to create uh, more such content yeah thank you